Hey guys, welcome back to Fred's Garage. This is Fred. So today we're going to make a divider for the Maverick, okay? And this divider can work on any pickup truck. But let's say this is your first pickup truck, or you've had pickup trucks for a long time. And you want to put something in here, and when you get home, they're both in the back of the truck. And you say to yourself, I need to have some sort of divider to keep that from happening. Most people are going to go to a big box store, and they're going to buy a 2x6. And they're going to cut it, and they're going to place it across. And it's going to sit across and become your divider. The problem with the 2x6 is it's heavy, okay? And when that happens, this 2x6 ain't going to do nothing for you. But let me show you my divider. My divider is also a retrieval hook. It's the best thing you're going to make. Watch this. So here's my divider, okay? I made it out of PVC. You can make it out of PVC or you can make it out of a wood uh, broom handle or dowel. It has two five-inch hooks, which I placed some felt tape on. This is going to fit in there, keep that from happening, okay? But what it's also going to do is help you retrieve that. So let me show you how it works. Luckily for me, in my last episode, I added these lights. So now you can see it much better. So we're going to get my divider. We're going to go in there and we're going to hook my chlorine jug. Take that out. Or I want to grab that bucket way back there. Take my divider and we're going to hook that bucket out. I ain't crawling my you know what back in there to get this. And then when I'm all done with it, I'm going to just easily place it in here. And there she is. She's my divider. So now when I put my chlorine, it's got a place to stay. When I put my bucket, it's got a place to stay. So, if you want to see how to make this real quick, stick around and let's build this thing. It's real easy. I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so what are we gonna need? We're gonna need is a PVC pipe or a wooden pole, it's your preference. You're gonna need these Scotch Guard floor protectors, okay? You're gonna need two five inch L bracket with some screws and a screwdriver. You're gonna need a Sharpie, a one eighth drill bit with a drill, a measuring tape, and some sort of way to cut the wood or the PVC. Everything you need is gonna be less than $20. Let's get started and we'll show you how to do it. All right, so first thing we're going to do is decide what we're going to use for our divider. In my case, I'm going to use the PVC, so we're going to remove the piece of wood. And then we're going to measure from inside the slot here to accommodate the, the PVC across, okay? So you want to go across. And you want to measure it. There you go. And you want to measure it. And it's going to be 54 and a quarter. 54 and a quarter. So this is one inch PVC. Schedule 40. When you go to your big box store, they're going to come in different thicknesses. You want to get 40 or 60. You want it to be thick. You don't want the kind of PVC that you would use for, say, a sprinkler system because it would be very thin here. It won't give you the resistance you need. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure it. We're going to find the spot, and we're going to mark it with our Sharpie. So our spot's going to be right here. Okay, well, you know me. It's all about the tools. I can use the hacksaw, try my best to cut it as straight as possible, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use one of these. These are PVC pipe cutters, okay? There's a set of these in the description below. They're only $10. If you do anything with PVC, 
It's make your life so much easier. So watch how this works. I got my mark. I'm going to put my pipe cutters right on top of my mark. Okay? And all I'm going to do is squeeze it. It has this ratchet. It makes it very easy. I'm going to squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. And that's it. Nice and straight. It's a good investment if you're going to do anything with PVC. So now I'm going to test fit it. Put it in the slot. Make sure it fits in the slot like it's supposed to. And she fits perfect. And she's not moving. Okay? All right, so now I'm going to get my scotch furniture pad floor protector, okay? And what I'm going to do is we're going to open that up. And if you see this here, it has sticky tape on the back, okay? We're going to take our bracket. We're going to lay it on top of the scotch guard. And with our Sharpie, we're going to mark it and we're going to bring it down and we're going to mark it. And I'm at this point going to do the same thing on the other side because I know I need two of these. Okay. We're going to mark it. Now I'm going to cut that. I'm going to use this to protect my paint from the bracket. And to hold it snugly in place, okay? If you have a plastic drop-in bed liner, you probably don't, you can skip this step. If you have a sprayed-in bed liner, you could probably skip this step. Either way, I'm, I'm going to use this because the a little bit of protection I get, the better it's going to be, okay? So we're going to cut it. There's one, and you can use scissors, razor knife, whatever you have to cut this. It cuts fairly easy. And there's two. I'm going to grab my bracket. And what I'm going to do is take a little bit of alcohol because I know that they put a little lubricant on this so it stays nice and shiny before you get it. So we're going to put a little, little alcohol and just... Clean that off. So we have real good success with this two-way tape sticking for good. And get the bottom. And get this side. Because I'm going to wrap mine around it. I want to protect my paint the best as possible. Oh, around the front. There we go. Let that dry for a few moments. We're going to peel this back and paper off. And we're just going to line it up and we're going to place it right on there, right? Straight in there. As straight as we can get it, okay? Give it a little push. Get it on there good. Now, and when you get to the end, I'm wrapping it over. I'm going to wrap it over. <clears throat> and I want to end up like this. This is going to protect my paint because I only have painted bed. And it's going to protect the bottom. And even if you have a plastic or... A, I sprayed in bed liner. I would probably still use this here. I don't need any scratches to bring any rust. And we're going to do the same thing to the other bracket, okay? Take the furniture felt. We're going to place it on there. Nice and straight, as straight as we can possibly get it. Pressure. Fold it over. And that is perfect, my friend. So now when she slides in and out, she won't be scratching the bed, okay? So now I want to line them up to make sure that they're nice and straight. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to leave the pole there. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to line it up exactly where I want it. And I'm going to make my marks, okay? And then I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to line her up. Now I know that they're both perfect. And I'm going to make my marks.
making sure it's up against the bed and make my marks okay and then we're gonna grab our bracket put her back over here grab our bracket take our pole Now our pole has the marks, and we're going to use our eighth inch, and we're going to drill holes for our screws, okay? So now you just screw in the brackets. I am going to use this. But if you don't have a drill or a drill bit, just a screwdriver will work fine. So we're going to grab our screw. We're going to line her up and we're going to drill in the screw. And there she goes. Line her up. Drill in the screw. And we're going to do the same on the opposite end, okay? And the best part, you can use your tailgate. Don't need a bench. Don't need a table. Don't need anything. Line her up. Screw her in. <clears throat> Line her up. And you're going to end up with this. This is your divider. Okay, so now let's put her in and see how she fits. Put in one side, slide in the other side, and there's our divider. Wiggles a little bit, but it isn't going to go anywhere. So now, when you want to put your bucket, your bucket's going to stay there. When you want to get your chlorine, your chlorine's going to be between the divider and the bed when the bed's closed. When you get to bring your Amazon return or get your groceries, that's all set. Another great option is find yourself a bin. My recycle bin. But find yourself any type of bin and you can wedge it right in between. And if you measure them correctly, you can get two bins. And then when you close your, your tailgate, you'll see, let me bring you in, that the bin is wedged between the bar and the tailgate and place all your stuff in the bins and you don't have to worry about anything and then when you open your tailgate the bins are there i know what you're thinking you're thinking fred that's a great idea <laughs> all right so let's say you have something over here and you have something else over here and you have your top call and you need to reach it why do we make it like this because we're just gonna pull her out and from the back of the bed hey check this out now i don't have to go crawl in there what about that one there we go i don't have to go crawl in there so there she is. But wait, there's even more. Because as a bonus, what are we going to do with it if we don't want it there? Say we want to get some plywood or say we want to get a furniture or something. We don't want this in the way. We don't want to just leave it in there to flap around, do we? Nope. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to grab my trusty little glue gun and we're going to grab some little teeny weeny magnets. 
Now these magnets come, they're about an inch and a half. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run some glue on my PVC. And I'm going to embed the magnet right into the glue. And let her sit there. And then I'm going to grab another one of these magnets. And this, these magnets will be in the description below. I'm going to count to 30. I'm going to glue it about 28 inches up from the end. About 28 inches up from the end if I have a Ford Maverick. If you have a different pickup truck, you're going to have to see where exactly you want to put it. So I'm going to throw some glue on there. I'm going to embed my magnet. And I'm going to give it a minute to dry. Let's say you have a plastic bed liner. The magnets aren't going to work. They sell clips that you can glue or screw onto your bed liner that will hold the PVC. If you got a sprayed in bed liner, the magnets might work, but you could also use those clips. So what's the purpose of the magnets? So when I don't need it across, say I'm picking up some furniture, chair, plywood, whatever, I need it out of the way. So what I'm going to do is just place it up against the side, and those magnets are going to hold it. So now she's not going to be going all over the place, and then I can close my tailgate. Then when I need her, there she is. We take her off with the magnets. We put in one side, bring down the other side. Either place my bin that I find, wherever you find the bin, or there you go. Nice and secure. I'll see if I can find some bins that'll fit this in Amazon, and I'll put them in the description for you, okay? But I hope you like this video. I hope it made life a little easier for you. But please subscribe, hit the notification button, and leave a comment. Tell me my videos are horrible, and that's okay. You guys, have a great day, and enjoy your Mavericks.